This is a multi-component microhydro system, but at its core is a dual turbine, single generator microhydro plant. Each turbine has two nozzles with changeable diameter inserts. It was almost entirely fabricated at our home shop, including the turbine runners. In other videos, we have documented the construction and slideshows. Two turbines are mounted on a single shaft, direct driving a 30 kVA three-phase AC Marison generator. At maximum performance, it per puts out about 15 kW. Each turbine has its own water source with two entirely different head pressures, but they are designed to both operate at 1800 RPM. One is referred to as the high head system, while the other is referred to as the low head system. The high head system runs a bronze Pelton turbine, while the low head system utilizes a bronze Turgo turbine. The windings on the Marison generator are balanced by a transformer that, as a secondary function, supplies a 440 volt circuit. There are two backup systems, one utilizing the high head water source and the other one using the low head water source. They are referred to as the high head backup and the low pressure backup. One last major piece of the system is a battery backup inverter system. It comprises of a Victron Quattro inverter charger and a 48 volt 700 amp hour lithium ion battery bank. The Victron Quattro is one of the only inverters that will supplement the available power without switching entirely over to battery power. We step into the building, we can see that we have a pressure relief valve and drain valve for the high pressure system. And one of the valves for the high pressure backup system. Well, we step through the door here, you see the Marathon 30 kVA 3 phase 120 volt AC generator. You see the high pressure Pelton turbine housing and the low pressure Turgo turbine housing. The water inlet pipes are covered with a bubble wrap to keep them from freezing in cold weather. We move up, you can see that there's a three inch ball valve and a three inch gate valve. We move around the room. You can Look back down and take another look at the Marathon generator. If we move over here to look at the wall, you can see the high pressure system breaker box, power monitor meter, and the electronic load controller that maintains the speed of the generator during different loading conditions. We move in on the meter. You can see that it's putting out approximately 40 amps. With a cyclage of about 60.2. And 230.8 volts which is approximately 9,200 watts of output. All nozzles are not on because it is a still a very dry season. We move up, we'll follow the power conduits over to the main powerhouse breaker box that ties into our microgrid. An electronic valve open and closing system that can be operated mo remotely is passing under our head toggle button to have a toggle button to add or subtract turbine power to the microhydro grid. This is the low pressure backup system. It has four nozzles and it will put out a maximum of 6 kW at 120 volts AC. It has a 1800 RPM turbo 
turbine driving it. The generator with a single bearing military surplus generator that we mounted on a second bearing on. Over here is the water pressure gauge for the low pressure system, and it reads 84 psi static pressure. Behind the low pressure backup system is the 440 volt breaker box. And we have the low pressure systems electronic load control were that my brother built from scratch. And also the low pressure system circuit breaker box. Or correction, low pressure system breaker box. That is the main circuit breaker box that supplies power to the microgrid. move around here to the other section of the powerhouse. You'll see the pressure relief valve and drain valve for the low pressure system. Follow the pipe down and it feeds outside to vent the water out into the raceway. have the balancing transformer, the main marathon generator, it also is a 440 volt supply. Then we have the greenhouse breaker box, where the greenhouse is attached to the generator powerhouse. And we have the main switch to the Victron inverter and backup, in which, which is designed to switch the Victron Quattro in and out of line. And we have the Victron Quattro 5 kilowatt inverter charger. The LEDs indicate it is in line and charging the battery, but not applying extra power to the grid except for a brief burst. The grid obviously is not pulling more than 9200 watts the Marathon generator is supplying. At the micro grid, in pulling more than or pulling 10,200 watts, the Victron Cotro would have kicked in a thousand watts to make up the difference. And we have a power cord to tie a gas backup generator into the system if necessary. And then we have the computer control for setting the Victron Quattro. Down below the computer is the Belfon Corporation's EFFS 30HD 48 volt 34 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery bank. It has its own monitor system for monitoring the condition of each individual cell plus the main battery bank's overall condition. On the one corner we have the main heavy copper wire coming out of the battery bank going over to the Victron Quattro. And I'll step back in and show you the high pressure backup system. It's in not in state of readiness if it's still being wired in. It has run in the past but uh, things have been moved in the powerhouse and so it's been uh, upgraded and modified, but it's not online at the moment. 3600 RPM, 8000 watt Pelton system. Thank you for watching.